Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's look at a concept in time series, the covariance stationary process. For a time series, if its mean, variance, and covariance are not a function of time, then this process is said to be covariance stationary. Most of the time, when we deal with a time series, we first transform it so that it is covariance stationary. One way to transform a time series is first differencing. For a time series, if it becomes covariance stationary after first differencing, we call this series difference stationary. Let's look at an example. For the first order moving average process, its mean variance and covariance are independent of time. So the moving average process is covariance stationary. The autocorrelation is not a function of time either. The first autocorrelation is a function of theta, and the other higher autocorrelation is zero. We can simulate the fourth order moving average process using theta. Suppose theta is 0.5. We can draw the graph of the time series using TS line. The mean of the time series is close to our setting. The first autocorrelation is 0.4, which is equal to theta divided by 1 plus theta square and theta is 0.5 in this example. The second autocorrelation is almost zero, just as theory predicts. For a first-order autogressive process, we first use the recursive substitution to rely it as an infinite-order moving average process. If phi is less than 1, then we can obtain the mean, variance, and covariance of the first order autoregressive process. All of them are independent of time. So the autoregressive process is covariance stationary. The autocorrelation is equal to phi to the power of the distance. Let's simulate the first order autoregressive process using theta. Beta is 10, phi is 0.7. This is the graph for the first order autoregressive process. The mean is equal to beta divided by 1 minus phi. The first autocorrelation is equal to phi, and the second autocorrelation is equal to 
phi square. Finally, let's look at a difference stationary process. Yt is equal to beta times t plus a y noise process Et. Since its mean is a function of time t, so it's not coherent stationary. However, when we first difference this process, delta y is coherent stationary because the mean variance and covariance of the series delta y are independent of time. Therefore, the original time series y is said to be different stationary. We can also simulate this process using data. There is an upper trend. This is an evidence of long stationary process. But its first difference is stationary.